we're talking to uh, talking about journey to influence. I think there's a fourth there's a fourth week. The first we uh, the first episode uh, the guest was talking about the toll. There is a tag price for this journey. Uh, the second girl was talking about in North Carolina. She was talking about the map, talking talking about the Holy Spirit. And the previous week, last week, the guest was talking about uh, you have to know who you are in Christ. So today, I bring greetings to every one of you from New Jersey, my God's grace. My girls, Peter, <laughs> have been a great mentor to me right from school in Ambrosali University. He was my senior colleague who we look up to in academic. I think in 100 level, calculus was something that was scary, but Brad Peter make everything easy for us. I'm telling you, when I see calculus, those days, I run, I run. By, by the grace of God, we are so close in a BSF fellowship, Bar Chemistry Student Fellowship. And I appreciate God for this for his life because looking at him, his life is worth emulating. Rapita, can you just say hello to every one of them today? God bless you, Rapita. Hello, every, uh, hello everyone. Uh, Peter is here. It's such a pleasure to be here to, to just have a conversation with my wonderful friend here. It's been a very long time and I'm very, very excited about today. <laughs> so Rapita. So, because of time, we, we really waste time, out of time. This is almost... Uh, that's right, that's right. We we'll just get to the end. By, the, by God's grace, much. we're going to make everything that's to right. be easy for everyone. So, going back to you now, Brad Peter, I really take you from, from one dispensation to another level. I call it another uh, phase. Yes. In my case, we call it another phase of forceful relation. <laughs> Very true. You for all those things. Right? Yeah. Um, so, uh, Rapita, going back to you now, what do you understand by journey to influence? You know, when I was actually reflecting on the journey to influence, and yeah. something really striking came to my mind, and I was like, if I'm saying journey to Abuja, it means that. Abuja is my focus, it's your destination. right? Mm. But mm. it's my destination. But along the way, something happens along the way. Those experiences mm. that I encounter as I am journeying through to Abuja, mm. they are still part of the journey. So I was thinking that influence is not just a destination. It is a process. Yes, sir. Mm. It's a process. So the goal is actually to be a person of influence at every stage of your life. So you don't want to wait to the end goal that you are desiring before you can begin to exert influence. I see influence as a force. I will know that in science, it is force that causes motion. So it is the influence that generates that force that causes changes in your life. Okay. So just for now, let, let me not say deep because of time. I'll just try to be very brief. Just like an example, okay. you know, you know Joseph, you know yeah. Joseph in the Bible, mm -hmm. he didn't start to exert his influence when he got to the prison. Was when he got to the, the palace. It was at every stage of his life, both in his house, in Potiphar's house, in a prison, and then in the palace that it was exerting influence. So influence is a process and then you're aiming at a destination. Okay. So, well, Peter, going back to you now, by the grace of God, you gave a very vital point talking about this journey to influence using our Abuja, if Abuja is your destination, it's going to be like journey to Abuja. So you make mention of Joseph. So, sir, looking at you, your life is what emulating, Brad Peter. What was your driving force? Like, what motivates you on this journey to influence? Because I know there are a lot of distractions everywhere. You get, you get it? Like, uh, coming for a country that, uh, you know, that, that wants you to give up on setting things that God wants you to do. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, you, 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 you have no access to certain things that you have to do. So what makes you, what was that thing that motivates you? What was your drive that pushed you 
to this level that 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 you are now. I just want to be because a lot of people are, are on the same journey, like on the same platform that we have gone through in this journey. You see, more I'm talking to people who are on their journey to influence. You get it. So most of I'm talking to students who are doing well and uh, who have done well, but leaving the school, leaving NYC, there is nothing. That inspiration that was with them, that I was pushing them, all of a sudden everything died. Is there hope for them? Because I know God has blessed you with a lot of stuff. You have something to tell them. Please, just say words to them, please, Brother Peter. Thank you. Yes. You know, um, one of the very first things I would always say is it's very important to have a foresight, to have a something you are looking forward to. You know, all through my university, I had just one motivation. And my brother is online now. He, he's watching, and I'm still going to say this live. When I was going through my, when I was about to start university, I sat down to ask him, and I asked him, what made you to succeed while you were in the university? He told me th two things. He said, number one, stay close to God. And then number two, be focused. I remember when I was, you know, in my, in, I think when I was about entering university, I saw his final year result. When I saw his CGPA, he had about, um, I think only his final year, he had about 4.7, I think in his final year. And I told him, I am going to beat that CGPA in my final year. <laughs> so all through my 100 level to my final year, that was what I was looking at. That I have a goal. So there, I can't do more than 4.7 in my final year because there is a target that I'm looking at. So I worked towards it, and at the end of my final year, I had around 4.8 something. And then I called him, I said, yes, I have broken your record. Okay, and then he always kept encouraging me I gave me one assurance. He said, if you can graduate, you know, from a Brasari University with a very good grade, you know, maybe if you can get the first class, I am going to make sure I assist you in your journey to your master's abroad. Wow. He told me that in my first year. That stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. So even though all my mates, you know, my friends, they don't want to study, I knew that there is something, a, res a product that, I'm, yeah. that is awaiting me once I'm able to come out like that. So all night, all okay. day. Can I, can I say, I one? Of, that was one of the things that motivates you to study hard, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, yes. in this journey to influence, uh, Rick's Walling says something in Purpose Driven Life. I think I find it through in uh, one of the book, um, this blessed memory of uh, my Moreau. He said, no destiny. No life is being fulfilled in on, on isolation. So Absolutely. talking about this journey to influence, people on their journey to influence, do they need mentor? Wait, wait, do you ever have a mentor? Like uh, who, 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 I know Holy Spirit is our advocate, is our inspiration. But Lisa, there is yes. someone who, who, you, who you talk to, who inspire you to. Like there is someone you are like, I want to be like this man. I want to be better than this man. So everyone Absolutely. to their journey to influence. I want you to talk about mentorship, please. Because a lot of people, they are missing it. You know, if when you check the Bible, many great men or many great scholars, they have mentors. You see, um, you read God's General, talking about Robert Lydon, uh, A.A.L.A.M.S. Those men, they have mentors. So that's why they could Absolutely. get to their place of prominence. Just like Joshua, his mentor was Moses. Moses. When you read Joshua 1, downward to that scripture, I, will, I don't want to move into that because I just want you to talk more about this mentorship. A lot of people who are knowledgeable, but they don't have mentors. They don't have who talk to them, who push them to their place of prominence. At least there, is, there must be a driving force pushing you. You get the bra, Peter? Yes. So I want you to talk yes. more about this mentorship. So please, thank you. I think these are the most important privilege that I, that I enjoyed in my life. So yeah. the Holy Spirit is there as the, the overall, the divine mentor, but he 
places people in our life who will become visible representation of his presence in our life. For example, you know, Timothy wouldn't have gone anywhere if Paul was not there. Yes, sir. So Paul was always saying, Timothy, oh. my son in the faith. Oh, Timothy mm. became a bishop through the help of his uh, the mentorship he got from Paul. So along the line in my, in my journey, I had lots of mentors. Mm. You know, when I was doing my undergrad, um, I had someone that was like, a, like two or two years ahead of me in my department that I was always going to meet and always asking him, how is it like? How are uh, in every course, for example, how is it done? How is the process like? He always guides me and tells me, this is how to approach this course. This is how to approach this course. This is how to approach this course. And then when I finished, I always looked up to people that actually maybe they went from Nigeria, traveled abroad, and then they were able to really, uh, you know, do exploits internationally. I was, I spent a lot of time reading their stories and then seeing where the, uh, you know, the journey and how they passed through the process. So mentorship is really, really very important. People that you look up to that will really, they must not be your friends, like, it's not people that will just tell you and make you smile always. Sometimes they say some things to you that you will start to think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really very important. It, my brother as well, I, I, I see him as my greatest motivator. Wow. You know, he was there. He has schooled abroad, you know. So I was always asking him, how is it like to study abroad? Mm -hmm. And what are the exploits you can do when you study abroad? He was giving me an insight before I got there, telling me, you know, if you really study very hard and put in your very best, you know, um, you can get the best out of it. And then being able to connect to God and be in active service in the house of God, even on this journey, is a very critical part. So I, I had all these things in mind through his guidance and it was really very impactful well thank you so much brother peter so in a nutshell in a nutshell mentorship is more important and is important to this journey to influence Absolutely. because Absolutely. as you have said everyone needs a mentor sure. not just a mentor a mentor that look like where you are going to in life Yes, you cannot yes. be you cannot be a lawyer, and you make a policeman your mentor. That's right. So, what was your greatest distraction, and uh, and how you overcome them to this journey to influence? I believe a lot of distraction. You get it. So, a lot of people who are they are, they they're going through distraction now in the process, of the journey to influence. So, I want to know why. And uh, how you overcome this, this distraction and you move on. You get it? Because I was, last week I was talking about focus, following your course until you succeed. So what makes you to be more focused? Please just say more about it. God bless you, Cecilia and Nicole. You know, God bless you. <laughs> yes, that's my, that's my brother over there. He's my wow. one mentor in the whole world. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm yeah. so pleased to have my brother. I will say it anytime, any day, you know. So, you know, challenges, uh, yeah. they are in, in, in a process, in a process of your journey to influence, challenges yeah. and distractions always come. Always there. If you read James chapter 1, verse 2, he said, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you fall or face different kinds of trials. Because mm -hmm. it is actually those trials that make you and then they become a stepping stone. So a lot of challenges came, you know, especially when, when I finished university and then I was trying to come here. It was, you know, for my studies, it was really, really very challenging. You know, just getting the platform to be able to come, it was absolutely challenging for me. But I remember in 2017, on the 1st of January, myself, my brother and the wife were praying and they said, this year, 
this year is not going to pass us by. No matter yeah. all the challenges that are going to be. I had we had financial challenges, for example, like how we're going to pay the tuition, you know, how we're going to finance everything. We didn't have all the money in the world to get everything done. The only thing I feel we had was just our ability to pray and to plan and to also okay. believe okay. in God. On the 1st of January, we knelt down and said, God, this year is our year. Amen. Everything is going to be possible mm -hmm. for us this year. So the challenges were there. And, you know, you know, applying to schools and not getting, uh, you know, not getting the, the, the necessary scholarship, it was very discouraging for me. And applied to two scholarships in the UK, um, the Chevney Scholarship and Commonwealth. I didn't get it. I was what? very surprised. I was down. I was like, what? You know, it was very surprising that I couldn't get those scholarships. And then before I started pursuing, you know, my, my Canadian dream, it was very challenging because I didn't even see the necessary, I didn't have the resources and, you know, having the necessary connection, there was no real mentorship as to someone that is there that will really guide me through in the process. But we just kept on, kept on praying, oh, kept on believing Mm. I just kept on praying and planning as if it's already a present day reality. And we had a vision. My brother told me, he said, Peter, I'm going to one day see you on the stage. And these white people, they are going to celebrate you. La braha so he said it. Mm. And then I just kept, you know, I pondered it in my heart. Mm -hmm. I won an award in, in March of 2018. He actually came to Canada, you know, to celebrate with me. And he's like, wow, today is a reality. Yeah. That's so great. It was just what kept us going, I say, in spite of all the challenges, was a vision that we had that kept us going. Thank you so much, that Peter. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, to those people who are on their journey to influence, so every solution to that challenge is prayer. That's Repeat right. how to pray. It keeps on pushing. Uh, At times, so distractions yeah. are blessings in disguise. They push you Absolutely. to pray. They, they, At times, yes. difficulties are, are, are necessary to our journey to influence. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, as soon as Zion traveled, Zion went through pain. Mm -hmm. But when yes. he traveled, he brought forth his child. Whatever potential you are pregnant of, Rapita yes. is trying to say, whatever thing you are pregnant of, whatever thing you are doing, distraction is part of this journey. Absolutely, absolutely. So one thing that will keep you focused and one thing that will be your greatest drive is the prayer. It's praying absolutely. every day. The Bible says something men ought to pray and not to faint. Yes. Jesus started with prayer and ended up with prayer. So mm -hmm. prayer is one of the vital thing in this journey to influence. Thank you so much, Brad Peter. Thank you so much, Brad Peter. So, Brad Peter, I want to give you just throw more light on this. Uh, uh, looking at your post, I've been so I've been inspired right from our university days. At time we use it as a prayer point. Oh God, oh brother Peter, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 we pray such prayer those days. Hey, hey. I thank God. God, God has been so faithful to you, Brad Peter. So, uh, there are a lot of people who, who, who want to push and move forward in life to come into a place like this to study and to be relevant in life. So what do you have to say? Like, because those who want, to be, who want to do their bachelor's degree, their PDG, want to be, do their master and their PhD in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Western world like this, to become better to the community, to the society, to the nation as a whole. So what, what advice do you have for them? Many of them, they're like, oh, I, I don't have money. But sir, they have this knowledge. Some of them, oh, uh, I have the money, but I don't have connection. God was your connection. I know that. I don't need the prophets to tell me. I'm telling Absolutely. the truth because many of us, even when I came in, I have no connection. I'm telling the truth, yes. Peter. It was That's just prayer. Right. It was just prayer yes. and then hearing God's voice. It's time to move. Absolutely. So I want you to just tell them, like many people, they, they don't have money, but they have this knowledge. And they, 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 they want to live 
such place to a place where they can fulfill purpose. So looking at you, sir, you 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 are what emulating. I'm telling you, I'm not saying this to make you feel giggy. No, I'm saying this because you have really helped many of us. A hundred level. Those courses was something I was like, my feet are going, bless you. Thank God there was a man called Amen. Peter. So I just want to do more light on this. So what do you have to say to them, please? Thank you, sir. Yeah, you know, the very first thing, you don't, you need a vision, first of all. You, hmm. Finance is not oh, yeah, the yeah. first thing you put ahead. Yes, sir. You can have the money and not be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. For first thing is your vision has to be very strong and it doesn't have to be a you, you don't want to come here because you want to you just want a better life let your prayer point change that i am coming here to be a kingdom influencer Glory. hey not i want to come and make money and buy a car no if no. that is your drive then god has no business with you mm. but when you say god i am coming there I want to be a person of influence in my university, for example. I want to, I want to influence for you. I want to reach out for you. God will say, okay, this person is a candidate. Let us push him mm. forward. So make your coming here to become God's agenda. agenda. If you make it to become God's agenda, God will make your business his own agenda. <laughs> and if God makes your business his agenda, there is no stopping you. There is no stopping you. Favor yes, will just begin to come. Mm. So I will say, number one, make it an agenda. Just change your prayer point. Not this country is so bad, I want to live. We all know that, but say, this country is so bad, we know, but I'm going there to be a kingdom influence. I'm going there to win souls. I'm going there to bring change. To bring change. I'm going there to be to, I'm going there to become an agent of change. Of change. And when you do mm. that, God knows, oh, if we help this person, if he gets there, he's not going to turn his back on me. <laughs> and secondly, yeah. you need to begin to connect with people. People that are already there and seek for advice and ask uh, people how they did it. Mm. Okay? I, for myself, uh, I... I you know, that's a drive towards whatever mentorship program that I'm doing now. You know, I, I'm reaching as much people as possible. So you can reach me anytime. Just ask me any question and I'll be more than happy to guide you through the process. And one final thing, you must be ready to work hard. There is nothing yes, like someone will do it for me. You mm -hmm. must be ready to put in the right effort, mm -hmm. the right discipline, and the right consistency. The first school I applied to University of Ottawa, I got the admission because I didn't get a supervisor. I didn't get admission. My brother did the application for me. We searched for schools. We couldn't get admission, but we did not give up because we, we couldn't get admission because of supervisor issue. But rather, we pressed on together. Hallelujah. And then Together, we put in the hard work, all the effort. Sometimes he had to send me a time to recharge my phone or my computer just to browse and be able to get the necessary information. So, number one, surround yourself with the right people, the right people that can, that can see the vision you have. Number two, pray. Number yeah. three, connect with people. And I'm very happy to connect with you to help you in whatever way that I can. Yeah. Thank you so much, Brad Peter. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate you for first of all, I told you this late, and uh, I've learned a lot from what you have said. Going to your place of influence, you have to acknowledge God's purpose first before you. I wrote something. You see, you, you, you when you check the flyer, I said, um, life is a gift. Life. Is temporary assignment. Then I said something. You must not do your own plan or fulfill your own plan without fulfilling God's purpose first. No, no. The Bible said, "Seek it first, the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Every, Every other thing will be added." 
Yes. You must, you must be a soul winner. Oh, Brother Peter, God bless you for this. I really, I really, uh, I really appreciate you. Your, your words are, are, are inspiring because thank you. I, I, for what you have said, many persons, God would have helped them, but they are putting their agenda before God's agenda. Yes. So that, that is not the rule. So God was like, I can't help who don't want to do for me. You get what I'm trying to say? He's a businessman. When you do for God, he's a God businessman. Is, yeah, God is a businessman. God is a businessman. Yes. So it, whatever you give to God, that's what he, he multiplies it. You get Absolutely. it? So, Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brad Peter. So I have just, just one question then. We'll kick on then. I will just ask you one other thing then that you just have for these people. So, Brad Peter, to this journey, to this journey to influence, by the grace of God, every one of us are, we believe we are on this journey to influence. Absolutely. Yeah. There are a lot of people in this journey. They, they, they can't fulfill this journey without help us. So, I want you to talk, we've talked about metal. So, so now I want to talk about helpers. Every man on planet Earth need helper. There was one way, there's two, one or two ways someone that must have helped you. You get it? So yes. yes. Can you just throw more light on this? Like talking yeah, about helpers. You know. It is going to be there. Ha! Does any one of all do all this? I don't know what I'm going to say it for them to understand because this journey is something you don't just want to walk alone. Look at Jesus. There was a man called Joseph. Mm -hmm. Of our yes. uh, of our Remetia, who came to yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he got help during when mm -hmm. he was crucified. Another man that got help was Joseph. After interpreting dream for the man in the, in the prison, he went to tell the king that there is someone in the dream who know how to interpret the dreams. So that was that was a great helper to him. That was what pushed him to the, his place of prominence. You get it. Another helper there was called David. David, what made him become a king? David would have not escaped Saul, despite he was anointed because Saul was anointed. So it was a man. There was a man called Jonathan, the son of Saul, who helped David to yes. escape his father's yes. trap and make him do a lot of help. Was it Deborah right. who helped the husband when David wanted to go and kill him? So, sir, mm -hmm. in yeah. place of this helper, I want you to throw more light on this helper. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. the thing is, in this journey, God knows exactly the people that, he, that you need in the process. So, your job is not to put the helpers there. Your job is being sensitive enough to locate those helpers when you see them. I know all through my undergrad, I had lots of helpers, you yeah. know, people that I always, maybe people that there are some, some times that I, maybe some things I didn't understand, I always go to those people for guide. You know, yeah. how do you get this done? How do you get this done? It was really there. When I was planning to come here, that was about one of my friends. He's also a PhD student now at the University of Saskatchewan. You know, he was the one that actually guided me through the process. Yeah. And he was actually helping me of the process, telling me this is the first stage. And after this stage, this is the second stage. And after this stage, this is the third stage. And then when I came here, the supervisor I actually worked with wasn't the person I didn't contact him, contact her. Another professor that I contacted was the one that recommended me to my supervisor and yeah. told him, Hey, I'm already sp speaking with this guy from Nigeria. Why don't you just, you know, consider speaking to him? He, she actually messaged me from Canada and asked me if I'm interested to work with her. Someone recommended me to her. So I would say God placed that particular person there as a helper. As a helper. Me. Amen. You know, yeah. when I finished my master's, I was also thinking of going to my PhD. God also placed helpers over there that will help me all through the journey. So it is not, I never did anything on isolation. I always had people along the line that helped me. When I was doing my master's, I had yeah. the, um, the guy doing PhD in my lab. He was in Nigeria. He, I see that 
God placed that person in my life. God placed that person in the lab before I came. So that when I when I came, a lot of the things I knew about Canada, about immigration, about God and science put together, being a role model, I learned everything from him. So I felt God really placed him there as a helper. So along the line, I've had lots of people that have helped me in the journey. Wow, thank you so much, Brother Peter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So help us play a vital role to this journey Very of influence. Good. Everyone to their journey to influence, they need help. Yes. Help, you need help, you need mentor. You heard what he said during the way he was talking about mentorship. He always said that you need help. Help us are part of this journey. No one can go to his place of prominence or journey to influence without help. But the greatest help is the Holy Spirit. But yes. the Holy Spirit is the source. But men are China. Yes, that's true. you and I are China. Just like God is the socket on the wall, mm -hmm. we are God's extension. God is the source. The extension is the one that is plugged to the source. So God does not just come to you. He sent an extension where you can plug and you, be, you have help. That's right. Joining my faith with the faith of my brother. In this journey, you will receive help in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. amen. You will not walk alone in isolation. Help us, we arise from you. Help us, we arise for you. From the amen. west, east, north, and south, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will receive amen. help. You will receive help. And the Bible says, yes. the Lord helped David. The Lord helped Saul. The Lord helped yes. Every one of them, between now and December, whatever help you need from God, I came out here with the faith of my brother. God will send you help in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What, what advice do you have for them? Explain those to their journey to influence. I think this is the last question I have for you. Then you might just talk more about what, what you have for them. Thank you so much. What advice? Amen. Amen. Number one thing, you know, I wrote it down very specifically. Yeah. Be busy doing God's work. Amen. And God will be busy aligning your life. Mm. Don't that. just be busy with yourself, with just your ambition. Be busy with the things of God. Sure. And then you will get the reward at the right time. Yes, sir. At every phase of your life, ask yourself, what is my relevance in the kingdom? If they table your matter in the kingdom, let's say, you know, this is the this is the council of elders in heaven, and they table your matter, and let's bless this person. What reports will be said of you? And who is going to speak for you? So when you are busy doing God's work, God will be busy positioning your life. So I always tell people, my number one priority is God. Every other thing is number two. So according to Daniel Washington, he said, put God first. That is the rule. Put yeah. God first. That's the rule. Mm. Put God first. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brother Peter. So you've heard you've heard what my guest said today. Brother Peter is our mentor academically. <laughs> he has been our greatest drive in school those days. I, I really have, I thank God our path cross, Brother Peter, and uh, and you are what emulated, sir. I, I I thank God for the grace of God upon your life. I really appreciate you for I just told you, Brother Peter, I want you to be one of our guests for this Saturday. It was like, okay, on the 8th of August, I'll be free. I was like, really? Okay, we're going to do this. And uh, I really thank you. I, have, I, I believe the people, they've learned a lot. In a nutshell, to this journey, to your influence, your number one priority is God. Absolutely. You have to just put God first. That's what I learned from this. Then, then when you put God first, his songwriter said something. He said, he said uh, I will make room for two. He said, you are my Jesus. He said, you are all my mothers. 
Yes. You are all that matters. It was a song from the spirit. That's, that's so it, 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 wait, 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 wait. When I keep hearing song like that, I know God's war is something we just have to do. Yes. It's just something we just have to do. We have to make our first priority. Thank you so much, Brother Peter. I believe those days in BSF, oh my God, it was, it was, it was powerful. <laughs> because when you guys left, we have to ah. take them. They, they yes. go by its own. So like, no, this yeah. man did well. This BSF will not fall. And I thank God we did yes. great things. And I pray Amen. our chemistry Amen. and Brussels University will continue to move forward and go continue to bless Amen. all our lecturers. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. So, Rafi, is there anything you want to say? Like, that's why those who want to come here to do masters, like your university, um, I just want to put more light on that. Yeah, so I, I, I'm a very open person and, yeah. you know, being able to help people is my is my priority and I put a lot of preference to it. If you have any question regarding coming to Canada for school, any question, any concern, anything you have, just message me. I will respond to you. I will respond to you. You know, if you've made all the effort and things are not working, you know, I run a very, very simple mentorship program. I actually call people one-on-one. -on -one. I pick up my phone and I call them. They will be on the computer. I will be on the computer. We'll be going through things together. So you can message me at any time and don't give up. Don't give up that you have tried once. It didn't work. It's not enough reading, a reason to work, to, to give up. It took me almost one year to be able to secure a supervisor for my master's. So you don't have to give up because you tried one month, two months, and then it's not working. Never give up. It is not over until it's over. Yes, sir. You have to fight until you win. Until you win. Fight until you win. Mm. Fight until you win. So you can reach, if you reach Edmond and then, you know, if you're not able to reach him directly, if you reach him, he can also direct you to me and I'll be more than glad to to assist you and to guide you in whatever way that I can. If, on one condition, you are ready to put in the work that is yeah. about, about. So I, I'm not going to do it for you. I will guide you through so that you'll be able to understand. It's kind of a training. I train you on how to do everything. Remember, put God first. Right. Everything has to be kingdom driven. Right. If it's kingdom driven and the hand of God is on it, you're sure to succeed. Thank you so much, Brad Peter. So I think you have really said enough. <laughs> And uh, I believe everyone is blessed. I'm blessed. Most of me, I'm blessed, Brad Peter, because it been a while I've sat down your, on your, how would I put it now? When, you know, those days when you are talking, we have to sit on the front so that the word won't pass our ear. And <laughs> <laughs> we have to be at the front. I really appreciate it, Brad Peter. And, uh, you have been a great you, inspiration. You, and uh, God will strengthen you. God will continue Amen. to Amen. You. Amen. Once we're done, I have, I have a prayer to pray for if, as anyone that, you know, okay. w once that time yeah. you come, just, just let me know. And okay. yeah. All right. Just let me know. So you continue to be at the top. You will not topple it. That's my prayer for you. Amen. 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 This journey to influence will not see things that will make us to be distracted. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So just make a Amen. prayer for every one of us. I tell them I need this prayer, Amen. Brother Peter. <laughs> Amen. You know, the Bible says, convert the best gift. If you see the grace of God upon the life of a man, it is very transferable. Yeah. If only you're willing to receive. Amen. I just pray for everyone who who desire to make impact in their life, who desire to explore this journey to influence. I pray the Spirit of God will overshadow you. Amen. The power of the Holy Spirit will come upon you. You will receive strength 
you will receive ability, you will receive the spirit to be focused. God will bring to you the right people that will guide you, that will lead you. God himself will supply all the things that you need in this journey. That God will remove every selfish ambition from your heart but give you a kingdom drive, a kingdom purpose, being able to influence him, being able to influence the world for him. Mm -hmm. Father, help everyone. Whatever graces that you've given unto me, I pray for everyone listening right now, as many that desire to partake in this blessing, in this grace, I pray that your spirit will fill them with that same grace, Double measure, triple measure in the name of Jesus. Amen. That everyone will be great. Everyone will be mighty. Everyone listening to me from today, I pray that the hand of God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. On your way to the journey of influence, nothing will stop you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. I know one of these days we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we've, oh, we've, we've, been, we've, been planning, we've been planning about it for a while. So yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I, I really appreciate you, uh, Sir Peter, and uh, I thank God for every for the grace of God upon your life. And we say amen to those prayers. We say amen, and um, I believe we have learned a lot today. And uh, we're going to put everything you have taught us today. We're going to put it to work. You know, and I believe God will do something in our life. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And I appreciate Amen. you. So uh, I thank every one of you who came in this journey to influence. And this is the fourth edition. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate every one of you who came in online. And uh, I believe you are blessed. Next Saturday is another Amen. journey to influence. And um, by the grace of God, we'll be having another guest. So... I really appreciate our guest today. He just say what? Just say thank you, please. For the comments, say thank you, sir. Bro, Peter, right, so, just say thank you. <laughs> to everyone, to everyone, yeah. to everyone that came to watch, um, I really, I really thank you. Thank I, you so much, bro. Peter. Thank my brother as well. Thank you so much. I told him, thank you. You know, I was coming thank online. You. He said, "Oh, I'm coming to yeah. watch you." So I really thank you for 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 being the support. Thanks everyone for really believing in us <laughs> and for coming online. We thank you we really in fact there is more to come there is we'll plan something because we had a lot of connection problems we could yeah. really give our very best so this is not our best okay it's so not it's not our best so, <laughs> it's not our best so we will, oh we, will we will plan a package you know properly and then we we'll release something big thank you so much we well, appreciate every one of you and uh, have a lovely weekend and, uh, Amen. all right thank you all Stay right. cool. All God right. bless you. Thank All you, right. Brother Peter. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Peace. Yeah.